Collingwood in parallel time. And tonight, in one of the rooms of the great house, a tragedy is occurring which will affect the lives of all who live here. And in the drawing room, two women chat, not knowing. Nothing for me, thank you. Are you sure, Mrs. Stoddard? You usually like a cocktail before dinner. Quite sure. Not tonight. Did you see Carol in this afternoon? No, no, I don't believe I did. Will's death was a great shock to her. Hoffman, you've been with us a long time. Tell me something. Carolyn never drank much before, did she, when I wasn't around? Oh, of course not, Mrs. Stoddard. Oh, so sudden and unexpected. I, I, I hardly know what to do. I, I suppose she'll get over it, but I wish I could help her now. Oh, I, I'm sorry, Hoffman. I, I know this isn't like me. To go on like this, but... The way Carolyn goes on about Angelique's murder... If she comes here, you must get me. She rambles on so about the secrets in this house. She's convinced who she she knows who Angelique's murderer is. She doesn't, of course. It's it's a delusion. Hoffman. Would you excuse Hoffman, Elizabeth? I have something to tell her. Of course. It's not very important. It's just about my room, Hoffman. That me it doesn't seem to be able to get it into her head that she shouldn't go... Listen carefully. I don't know how to tell her. What, Mr. Collins? Carolyn has been murdered. I heard a scream. I left my room. I heard another from upstairs. She's in the tower. Call the police. No. Not until I've told my sister. In the tower. She knew. She did. She knew who the murderer is. Elizabeth, please. I won't believe it. I won't believe it. Please, Elizabeth. I must see her. I must. No, Mrs. Stoddard is accepting no calls. Yes, yes, it's true. Uh, Mr. Collins has asked not to speak to anyone either. I'm sure you understand. Uh, yes. Yes, certainly. I'll tell them you called. They will appreciate your kindness. Elizabeth, please let me call Dr. Blum. I'm all right. Mrs. Stoddard, would you care for a brandy? It might help. No. No. Mr. Collins? No, thanks. It doesn't seem the moment, somehow. I've been accused of drinking to escape reality. Well, perhaps reality has caught up with me this time. I think a brandy would be pointless. If only the police could find something. If only I'd gotten there a moment or two earlier. Oh, what was she doing in the tower? Why was she there? It's the room where Will died. This house. There's a curse on it. Everything that happens here. Poor Carolyn. She's with Will now. I must think of that. She was so very fond of him. 
They've got to catch Quentin, Elizabeth. Oh, Roger. They must find him. I can't believe he did this. No one wants to, but... He was always so fond of Carol. He's not as he was. Why is he like he is? Why? What made him this way? Oh, if I'd only listened to Carol when she told me that she'd seen him. She must have been telling the truth. Mrs. Doddick, when did she see Quentin Collins? Yesterday, she said. She must have gone to the tower to try to see him again. Oh, if I'd only talked to her, reasoned with her, instead of just dismissing her story as some mad delusion. I'm guilty of that, too. She told me a secret, one... It's all of our fault, really. We've gone on living in this house half suspecting that Quentin was here, ignoring all of the signs that pointed to more violence. I'm going to my room, Roger. Let me go with you. No, Mr. no, Roger. please. If there was only something I could do, something constructive, to let me know I won't feel this way forever. Elizabeth, you shouldn't go alone. Roger, I, I want to be alone with you. The sum total of my life seems to be that I can never help anyone. I will have that brandy. Is he in this house, do you think? No. I need this. Oh, how I need it. Mr. Collins, you say that Carolyn told you it was secret. Yes. Did it have to do with her life? Or will? No. Was Alexis upset over Carolyn? Terribly. How strange it is having her in this house. Don't you think so, Hoffman? I'm enjoying her visit. Does are you? Do you think that she um, does she remind you of Angelique Hoffman? You know, often the two could be as one. Do you think so? Roger. I want you to go somewhere with me. Well, of course, but where? We must decide where Carolyn's going to be buried. Oh, Mrs. Stoddard, not tonight. Yes, tonight. I must. Start believing she's gone. It will help me to decide one thing. Where she is to rest. Please, Roger. That can wait until tomorrow, Elizabeth. No, it must be tonight. You must come with me to the mausoleum, Roger. Elizabeth, I understand your grief, but this is not right. I had to come here, Roger. Elizabeth, why have we come here? I don't want Carolyn buried next to Angelique. 
You can understand that, can't you? Yes. She should be buried in the cemetery with her husband. No. She's a Collins. She belongs here. Her ancestors are buried here. Well, I'm certainly not going to argue with you. If it's settled, let's go back to Collingwood. No, not yet. Elizabeth. We have other things to do. In heaven's name, what? If you don't want to do them with me, Roger, I will do them alone. I don't know what you're talking about. You will, Roger. You will. How to bring you half alive so that Angelique cannot function. Even though she's not directly responsible for Carolyn's death, everything that happens in that house is because of her. Yet, if you rise, if you talk, Angelique will die. She told me that, and then Quentin will be trapped. I must be careful. Very careful not to go too far. Elizabeth, it is extremely masochistic of you to even be here. No. Why are we here? What do you expect to find? The name of her murderer, Evangelique. Carol wrote what she knew and how she knew it. I think your loyalty to Quentin under any other circumstances would be commendable. Carolyn wrote that it was Quentin. I'll believe it. I don't need any written proof. Quentin isn't the only suspect. Who else? Trask. The police haven't been able to find him. Trask is such a coward. Cowards kill. And Barnabas, what about him? Barnabas wasn't here when Angelique was killed. Her handwriting. She never finished it. What? If anything happens to me, it is because he knows that I have the proof. She meant to tell us. Well, you found what you came for. Now let's go back. Yes. Yes. Um. This brought Adam and Eve alive. Perhaps I'm taking too much of a chance with her. If Barnabas were only here. But he is not, and I must do what I think best.
I set the dials correctly, she must be barely conscious, that is all. Am I taking too much of a risk? No, I must do it. do wrong. Why didn't it work? Alexis said Stokes used both science and black magic. I must find out what that black magic was. Elizabeth, of course it's a shock to you, but you, it can't be unexpected, I tried to tell you. If I hadn't seen those gloves. Hoffman, did you see the police leaving? Uh, no, I, was it Mr. Stokes? Miss Alexis asked me to tell him. He was very fond of Mr. and Mrs. Loomis. They found the weapon of the murderer. Where? A knife, on the grounds near the cottage. But more incriminating, they found the gloves that he wore. They were Quentin's gloves. Mrs. Stoddard had given them to him last Christmas. Mrs. Stoddard, someone else might have worn them. It was Quentin. Even I believe that now. Are the police searching the grounds again? This time, they don't think that he'll be around. He better not, because if I find him... He must be caught. He must. 